on air, online, on mobile. Fox Tito News at 6.30 starts right now. The Lucas County Commissioner's race is headed to court. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. And I'm Sean Hegarty. Here's the news for Monday, December 13th. Democrat Carol Contrada is expected to be sworn in as the new Lucas County Commissioner in less than a month. But she won't get that chance if her opponent has his way. Fox News' Kevin Milliken is live with the details of a court challenge coming from Republican George Serrato. The Toledo City Councilman is officially contesting the outcome, claiming elections officials counted too many provisional ballots tipping the balance of that race that he was winning. Now, who becomes commissioner is out of the hands of voters and in the lap of a judge. Republican George Sarantu walked into the Lucas County Clerk of Court's office to file an election challenge one day before the deadline, still questioning how elections officials handled and counted 4,100 provisional ballots that cost him a seat on the county commission. I'm confident that the information we have uncovered uh, will certainly uh, be examined and that uh, some very startling conclusions uh, may be uh, brought forth. We don't know the final result, but we know there's major problems and major questions. And with the margin, only 193 votes, it's clearly the kind of thing that it's in, within reach. Toronto contends elections officials still have not provided all the public documents he requested, but a review by his legal team has uncovered enough to ask a judge to throw out several hundred provisional ballots. Without complete information, the Republicans' lawyers say they cannot count exactly how many ballots are in question. But the Board of Elections maintains the Toronto camp has received all information allowed by law, and in a statement says there is no evidence that warrants the election results or the recount results to be changed. The most important issue to the citizens of this great democracy is that our election process is open and honest. Now, Democrat Carol Contrada also issued a statement late today calling Sarantu's challenge an insult to every legitimate voter in the county and a waste of taxpayer money. So where is all this headed from here? Attorneys have asked Lucas County judges to recuse themselves so a visiting judge will handle the case. By law, a hearing must be set within two to four weeks and that judge could keep anyone from taking office until the election is decided one way or the other. Reporting live, Kevin Milliken, Fox Toledo News. All right, thanks for the update, Kevin.